video, we'll be using finite element analysis to identify any weak points in our drone chassis design. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to change our works, change workspace to the simulation workspace. And we're going to do a new study and it's going to be a static stress. So press OK. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just look at the material. So we're going to go material, study materials, and we're going to just check that the material that we are studying is ABS plastic, which it is. Next thing we're going to do is going to add a constraint. And so we're going to go to constraint, structural constraints, and we're going to apply a constraint to the battery tray area, and that's going to fix that point of the chassis down. Next thing we need to do is we need to apply a load, apply a load to our chassis. So we go to load, structural loads, and we're going to apply a force to the to our motor mountings. I'm just going to change the view to the bottom of our drone chassis and apply the force to the little inside ring of our chassis, the little ridge stopping our motor from flying out. We're going to select all four mountings here and making sure that the force is going upwards as this is how the how forces will be acting upon the drone chassis as the motor will be pushing the drone upwards and we're going to change the magnitude of our um, load to 15 newtons and press ok And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to do a pre-check. So we're going to select this, the pre-check button here, a little clipboard, just to make sure that we have all the inf information we require to set our simulation from going. Then we can go to solve. And we're going to send the static stress study to the cloud for it to solve. So we can solve one study now and we just wait for the study to solve. I've just um, skipped to where my study has solved itself. Um, and once you once it has solved, you get a screen looking like this. And you'll see that the our drone has changed and has had the forces applied to it. We can do a number of things now. We can see that the force has apl applied to the drone has changed at the actual form of our drone by bending these parts here. So we can change the safety factor to stress or displacement or strain and you can see how much the force applied has put strained our drone and you can see that the mountings have completely changed under the force identifying a weak point in our design so to to change this we're going to go back from our simulation workspace into our model workspace and what I'm going to do is add fillets to our mounting, motor mountings and our drone chassis. I'm going to modify and fillet. And I'm going to apply a fillet to each of these edges here, connecting the, the mountings. And what this is going to do is add a bit of strength to our drone chassis and stop the chassis from bending when the force is applied. So we're just going to select all eight edges and add a fillet of 5mm and that will just add a bit of strength to our drone chassis design. 